All right, so welcome to this playthrough of Castlevania Bloodlines, if you'll let me do it. <laughs> I go into the options. All right, so a little bit late to the party, but it's, it is October, so that means it's time to start playing stuff that's a little more Halloween themed. And so for me, a natural to start things off with is anything Castlevania. So Technically, if I was going to keep playing things in chronological order, I would have done, um, what was it, the uh, Order of Ecclesia or whatever that game was on the DS. That would be the next one chronologically, since I did um, Rondo of Blood and Symphony of the Night last year. However, I'm a bit on a Genesis kick, so I'm going to just skip ahead a little bit past that one and start here with Bloodline. So this will be the, the game I'd like to start off this Halloween season with. And, uh, yeah, I like to change my controls because I'm a little bit old school that way because the original Castlevanias on the NES, A was jump and B was attack, so I plan on continuing to use that same setup. Now, also, you can get this game on a variety of platforms now through the uh, Castlevania collection. The only thing is, with that, there's only two achievements at least for Steam is concerned, two achievements as far as Steam is concerned that you can get. Beat it with, uh, I guess was John Morris and the other guy. Which I've never played this game, so I'm not very familiar with it. So, basically, I'm going to play through RetroArch, and what I can do is I can just get my password at the end and then just load that password into the uh, Castlevania collection under Steam, and then I'll get my achievements both with RetroAchievements.org and on Steam. So, it's a win-win. But anyway, enough talking. Let's get this let's get this Halloween season started properly by hitting stage one. Uh, John Morris and Eric Ricard. I knew the name was Ricard or something, I just didn't know exactly what it was. Well, I'm gonna go with John Morris because I'm I'm a traditionalist and like using a whip. ability to jump on stairs just like uh, Rondo of Blood did. Let's <laughs> go. 
I'm so all crappy, aren't I? Worst of all, I haven't had any wall chicken yet. Sub boss? Oh, nice, great. There's my wall chicken. We're late. See me small chicken over there. At least I hope you're small chicken over there. Oh, oh okay.
that here time. Throw an axe and I don't have an axe. Oh, maybe I don't have it enough parts or... This is what you use to throw things. Bonus next to nothing. A picture of this. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do for the uh, sake of brevity. I think there's only really uh, six stages or so in this game. So what I'm going to do is I'll do one game and then, uh, you know then do another video for each different stage basically to kind of um, you know not make this a super long playthrough or anything you know all at once kind of thing so this will be just the first stage um, might do a little bit of editing to get rid of my you know the whole game over thing just to kind of make it very sequential for the most part but other than that that'll do it for this video Thank you very much for watching. Well, you know what? Let's hit, let's hit start. See, there's a cutscene first. Nah, not really. Alright, so that'll do it for this video. When we meet back, I'll see y'all in Greece. Until then, take care.